Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Akshay and I am going to talk about configuration of serial console logs in this tutorial. To be more specific, I am covering configuration of serial console logs on a KVM virtual machine. We are going to discuss what are the serial console logs, what is the need of the serial console logs and how to configure serial console logs on a virtual machine on KVM. Let's talk about what serial console logs actually are. Serial port is a serial communication interface. Information is transferred sequentially at the rate of one bit at a time through the serial port. A serial port connection allows users to control headless systems or systems without a display. Accessing system via serial port can be done using serial console. Serial console helps in collecting all the activity happening over the console in text. Serial console is not enabled by default. It needs to be enabled manually wherever required, especially for troubleshooting purposes. Now let's discuss need of the serial console logs. Basic use of serial console is recording console logs or activity happening on the console. They are very helpful in scenarios where information cannot be recorded into operating system logs. Let's consider a scenario where system is not able to boot. Speed of the regular or virtual console is so fast that we are not even able to see the error. Or here is another scenario where VM core generation is failing due to some reason and we are not even able to see the error on regular or virtual console. In both of these scenarios, it can be very helpful if we manage to get whole activity in a textual format. This is possible with the help of serial console logs. Now let us discuss some advantages and disadvantages of serial console logs. The biggest advantage is information on the console can be collected in a textual format. Parsing through text is easier than checking screenshots or video recordings. Hence serial console logs are very helpful while dealing with complex boot related scenarios or VM core generation related scenarios. The only disadvantage is Continuous use of serial console can affect performance of the system. Hence, serial console logs should be used only for troubleshooting purposes. Now let's see the configuration part of the serial console logs. The basic configuration of serial console requires presence of active serial port, presence of serial port and baud rate on kernel command line. If RHGB and quiet parameters are present on kernel command line, they should be removed temporarily because they can hide lot of information on the console and the access. Console is equal to TTY0 is the regular console, whereas console is equal to TTY SX, comma baud rate is the serial console. Here, X is the serial port in TTY SX. It can be checked using D message pipe grep TTY command. And 115200 is the baud rate. It is the rate at which information is transferred. One important thing about serial console is last defined console parameter is treated as primary console. Here TTY SX is written at last. So serial console would be treated as primary console. Another important thing is reboot is required for modification of kernel command line. Let's see the demo now. This is my virtual machine running on KVM. I am going to show both scenarios with and without serial console. So first one is without serial console. So let me reboot the system. Here we can see that system is booting very quietly. We are not able to see any logs in detail. Now let me access system via SSH.
this is the terminal of the guest and side by side let me check presence of serial console device for that we would need root access of the host I have executed command verse dump xml I have given system's name and I have gripped console and we can see that serial console device is present on the guest first thing which we are going to do is executing tty command it shows details of the current console and it is slash dev slash pts slash zero now we are going to check kernel command line parameters this can be done using cat proc cmd line here we can see that rsgb quiet parameters are present and serial console related parameters are not present so i am going to remove rsgb quiet parameters and i am going to add serial console related parameters I'm going to use grubby command to do the modifications of kernel command line. Let me check details of the serial port. Here we can see that TTY S0 is present. So we are going to use TTY S0 in the serial console configuration. Now we will have to reboot the system to apply the changes. As RSGB quiet is removed, we can see that boot process has become more verbose system is rebooted and I have logged in using SSH now let me check kernel command line parameters again We can see that console is equal to TTY0 is present and console is equal to TTY S0, comma baud rate is also present and serial console is primary console. Now our system is ready for getting accessed using serial console. For accessing system via serial console, we need root access of the host. Using worst list we can see which systems or which guest operating systems are running. Here only one system is running. Now let me start serial console using worst console command. Here, the safe option will allow this connection only if safe console handling is supported. Let me execute command. And after hitting enter, I can see the login prompt of my guest system. Let me log in. I have logged in successfully. Now let me execute TTY command. Here we can see that slash dev slash tty s0. So here slash tty s0 increase, uh, indicates that we are on the serial console. Now let me crash this system. I have panicked system and it is saving VM core and 
all this activity happening on the console we would be able to copy this entire activity in a text file and if at all if we face any issue we would be able to analyze the text file in this way serial console logging is helpful in gathering information over console in a textual format it is very helpful in boot related scenarios or kdom vm core related scenarios so that is all from my side thank you for watching this video i hope this video tutorial would be helpful to you while collecting serial console logs thank you